slots on the balloon. Now once you get to the balloon, you are going to be training the pilots to get to the Not the Philippine International Air Balloon Field Foundation, but you're going to be training the pilots to get to We're not making money out of this, so you got to go direct to the pilots, but it has to be coordinated and close to our information cover. Just a few of the states are getting things in order. So, in case you find $150 for a balloon ride a bit too steep, we'd also like to advise you that our major sponsor, Caltex, is also offering a free covered hot air balloon ride. It's so exactly the same as the other hot air balloons, except that it's covered in place and we're going to be uh, brought up to a, an altitude of about 20 or 30 feet and brought back down. Uh, it's going to be covered, not going to be moving along the place, but to get the feel of the sensation of actually rising and descending on the hot air balloon. That's what we see about friends and Caltex. And if you're coming back tomorrow, all you've got to do is head over to the Caltex group to get details on how you can get a free ride from the covered hot air balloon. That's a super striker Caltex balloon located at the right side of the field. That's happening tomorrow, so check it out. And we're coming back, talk to the people at Caltex, and they'll hook you up for a nice covered hot air balloon ride. Of course, this is weather for living. As we mentioned, we're at the mercy of Mother Nature. If the wind is too strong or if the rain is suddenly forced out, then naturally we cannot allow a hot air balloon ride because it would be both dangerous for you and the crew of the hot air balloon. So, all of it is subject to the disposition of Mother Nature tomorrow. Then again, check out the office group for the two hot air balloons coming to ride tomorrow. In the meantime, we're continuing to wind down and we've got some balloons already inflating. And as you can see, like the red and white balloon that's from the Philippines and it's bonded to by Ben Roa, he's fully inflated. But you see that it's where it's bending over almost 45 degrees back because the wind is quite strong. And, and what the wind is actually doing is it's pushing the end up and pushing the hot air out. So it's quite difficult to keep these balloons to store that first kind of weather condition and the keep them up there. And we're trying our best and we're hoping and praying that the wind drops down just a tad more, maybe two knots down, and then we're not going to have any problems. We've got two or three other balloons trying to inflate right now. So let's hope for the best and stick around as we conclude the third day of the 16th century international hot air balloon fiesta. Boleh ikaw hatog semua. Tapi ni nak. Boleh, boleh. Kita nak nyari tu orang mana nak nyari tu. Ah, boleh. Yellow cab, you want great pizza, or a cab. GGLC, Global Gateway Logistics Center, 177 hectare master plan, mixed logistics, business center, excellence, in quiet.